Hey everyone, in today's video, we will show you how you can play your favorite Super Nintendo games on your computer to relieve your childhood gaming memories playing games such as Super Mario World, Captain Commando, Ninja Turtle, Power Rangers, and Metroid. In this video, we will show you how to use this free Super Nintendo PC emulator, SNES 9X, a free and stable emulator that you can use to play your favorite classic Super Nintendo games on your computer. This method will work with all Windows. If you are new to the channel, do click the subscribe button and help us reach our goal of getting 1000 subscribers. Thank you. The Super Famicom, also known as the Super Nintendo in North America and in Europe, is a 16-bit 4th generation home video game console developed by Nintendo. The Super Famicom was released in 1990 and is a successor to the popular Famicom, also known as the Super Nintendo Entertainment System or NES. It was discontinued in 2003 and there was a total of 1,757 games that were created for the system. Some popular games for the system include Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, Mario Kart, Star Fox, F-Zero, Final Fight and many more. The Super Famicom is the 10th most sold home video game console in history selling over 49 million units worldwide. In this video, we will show you how to use this free Super Nintendo PC emulator, SNES 9X, a free and stable emulator that you can use to play your favorite classic Super Nintendo games on your computer. This method will work with all Windows, Linux, and Mac computers. We will go through the installation guide and in-game setting configuration, such as setting up your controllers and applying special cheats to the game. We will also share some of our favorite Super Nintendo games to check out and try out for yourself. Alright, before we begin, it would help the channel if you could help us by clicking the subscribe channel below. Thanks for subscribing. Alright, go to the second link in the description. It will take you to the official SNES 9X website. Under the download section, download the version that suits your computer. Here I'm downloading the x64 version as I am using a Windows 10 x64 PC. Let it download. And I have downloaded it onto my desktop. The file will be in zip file format. Next, we will extract the downloaded file. Please create a new folder and label it SNES 9X. Next, open up the zip file that you downloaded earlier. Copy its content and extract it to the SNES 9X folder you created. Now that we have all the files go ahead and delete the zip file we downloaded from the website earlier. In the folder, SNES 9X x64 will be the emulator player. Before we can play, we first need to find some SNES games ROMs. ROMs are digital backup copies of physical games backed up using a dumper. Super Nintendo and Super Famicom games use a .sfc or a .smc file format. These ROMs can be obtained by making backup copies from a physical cartridge using a dumper. Alternatively, you can do a simple Google search for Super Famicom ROMs or SNES ROMs, they are relatively easy to find. Archive.org is another good place to get the SNES game ROMs you want. Here I have a folder of some of my favorite SNES games. To start playing, select the ROMs, click and drop it into the emulator. The emulator will run internal testing on the ROMs to see if it's good and start the game. Let's load the Super Mario World. As you can see, everything loads up fast. Let's start by adjusting the control settings. Here I'm using the 8 bit dough USB SN30 for that extra retro feel. On the top menu, go to Input, then click on Input Configuration. Here you can map your controller to the input settings, change accordingly, and once you are done, click OK. One more thing to activate is the FPS counter, and this is to ensure that your SNES games are running at their correct frame rate. SNES will run between 50 60 FPS, any lesser the animation will get very choppy. Under the video settings, click on the show frame rate. The game frame rate will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. I prefer playing it in small windows, but you can also play in full screen by pressing the Alt plus Enter button on your keyboard. The game runs smoothly, and the audio is in sync, just like playing on the original hardware. Super Mario World is one of the first Mario games released for the SNES, also known as Super Mario Bros. 4, which was released in 1990. Super Mario World contains 9 worlds and 73 levels, 24 of which have secret exits for 96 exits. The goal, as always, is to defeat his enemy Bowser and rescue Princess Toadstool. There were 20 million copies sold, and this game is still regarded as one of the best games ever made by Nintendo. The next game we will look at is Super Metroid. Released in 1994, this is the third Metroid game of the series. In this game, players control bounty hunter Samus Aran, who travels to planet Zebes to retrieve an infant Metroid creature stolen by the space pirate leader Ridley. 
This game was well received, selling over 1.42 million copies worldwide. Here we have our favorite game, Contra 3 Alien Wars. This gun and run game was developed by Konami and was released in 1992. This is the third game of the Contra series. This is one of the most challenging game releases for the series. There are six levels, and it is almost only possible to complete by using cheats. We will get back to this game again later in this video. Next, let's look at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The Fighting Edition is a 2D competitive fighting video game based on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers television series released exclusively for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1995. There are nine playable characters, including Ivan Ooze from the Power Ranger movie. The next three games are our favorite side-scrolling beat-em-up fighting games. The first game is Captain Commando. Released initially on the Capcom arcade systems in 1991 but was ported over to the Super Nintendo in 1995. The game will take place in Metro City in the future. In 2026, the world will be filled with crime. Captain Commando and his three companions had been called upon to defeat the crime syndicate from planet Earth and all the galaxy. The next one we will look at is Final Fight, just like Captain Commando. This game was first released in Capcom Arcade in 1989 but was ported to the Super Nintendo in 1995. The game was set in 1980's Metro City. The games focus on a group of heroic vigilantes who fight against the criminal gang's various threats. In addition, this game introduces Street Fighter characters such as Cody, Guy, Sodom, and Relento. The series has sold more than 3.2 million copies worldwide. The last fighting game we will examine is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Turtle in Time. This 1992 beat-em-up game was based on the popular Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle TV series. Initially released for the arcade in 1991, the game was ported over to the Super Nintendo in 1992. Players get to choose between Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. Each playable character has his strengths and weaknesses. It starts in the streets of New York City. Still, as the levels progress, you will be transported to various historical eras where you defeat characters like Bebop, Rocksteady, Shredder, and Super Shredder. This game is lots of fun. If you are into RPG single-player action-adventure games, you probably need to check out The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This 1992 classic was the landmark game for Nintendo and is considered by many as one of the greatest video games of all time. This game is the third main installment of The Legend of Zelda series. Players assume the role of Link as he makes his way across different levels and mazes to rescue Princess Zelda. A Link to the Past was later re-released in 2002 on the Game Boy Advance, sharing a new game called Four Swords. Lastly, let's take a look at Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. The game is the prequel to Super Mario World, and it stars Yoshi and the Yoshi clan who, while carrying baby Mario, travel across Yoshi's Island to rescue baby Luigi from baby Bowser. The game uses the Super FX2 graphics chip, allowing for larger, more detailed sprites and more advanced effects that emulate 3D space. As you can see, the game runs smoothly here on this emulator. This emulator also comes with a cheat menu. If you had played Contra 3, Alien Wars before, you will know how difficult this game is. Thus, completing the game utilizing cheats is one of the ways to go. Unfortunately, the Konami code does not work for this game, therefore, the only way to get infinite life is to use the cheat menu. Click on cheat, then select Game Genie Pro Action Code, alternatively you can click Alt plus G. The cheat menu will pop out. Open up the internet browser and go to GameGenie.com. Search for Contra 3 code. Here is a list of Game Genie codes available. Let's activate the infinite live code. Select the code and copy. Go back to the cheat menu, paste the cheat code on the field and give the cheat a name. Click on add, then click on OK to activate the cheats. When you return to the game, the cheats will already be activated. Every time you get shot or die, you will spawn and be ready to go again. Now finally, you can get to complete the game. One more thing, the emulator also supports mouse control. Super Nintendo released Mario Paint in 1992 with their mouse. Think of MS Paint. Mario Paint is an educational game that allows anyone to create simple pictures, paint over black and white images, or free draw their own using the specially developed SNES mouse. This was released well before personal computers were accessible. Thus, this game familiarized users using the mouse. The game was well received, selling over 2.3 million copies worldwide. And there you go guys, that's how you play your Super Nintendo games on your PC using the SNES 9X emulator. 
and as always don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care and stay safe everybody